It's scary, and it knocks the breath out of you. It takes a long time to come to terms with a disease, especially a terminal illness. And then you start thinking, okay, this is a new me, this is the new normal, and I can still appreciate every moment. I'm Maggie Connor and I'm 51. I live in Bristol, Connecticut. I'm married to a wonderful spouse and I have three beautiful daughters. I was diagnosed last April, about almost a year ago, with um, aggressive brain cancer. It's called glioblastoma. The first round of treatment was um, chemo and radiation. And I did really good for a while and then now the the cancer cells have come back and are, the tumor is starting to grow again. Here on the mantle I have um, kind of my little collection of family pictures. This is my mom on our wedding day. This is my dad, my hero dad. My dad was always very active and toward the end of his life he had a spinal cord accident which made him a quadriplegic. That was a really rough transition for him and all of us were just heartbroken to think of how is dad going to exist without the use of his arms and legs. Initially, our attention to him and our, um, our willingness to be with him all the time I think was hard for him because there was nothing he could do in return. But I think he settled into it very gracefully and he realized the value of the words that were being spoken. And we learned a lot. It was a gift that my dad gave to us because he spent that time with us. I saw with my own two eyes what joy can still be found in just valuing every moment. It doesn't mean it's gonna be great, doesn't mean it's gonna be romantic, but there are moments that are valuable that need to be cherished. And here I am years later after my father's death and my siblings and I still talk about those moments. He left us a legacy of that time that he gave us. He could have checked out right away and said, I'm done with this, but he didn't. He stuck around and he said, I'm here for you. And so my dad showed me not just how to live and how to do stuff and how to be productive. He showed me how to die with grace and dignity. Thank you.